Hey man, look at this. How y'all doing? Welcome to my world. I'm in my garden right now. And actually I don't do a lot in here, but I came in to see and some of the fruit was just hanging, so I put it in baskets so that it can ripen. And this is an idea for how to make old screens from old houses. Use them for the top of your little greenhouse. So what I've got now is all these vines that start down here and go up the wall and get all that Again, salvage screens off of houses and stuff. I have hundreds in stock. And you build your greenhouse and then you go up here and you got all these vines on the top. And if you look, all the bees, the honeybees, and everybody's up there helping pollinate. And by doing that, we get vines that hang. Some of them hang right through and fall. And then they'll end up in my baskets. And so that way, in some cases, if they don't fall, you'll be able to get them off the top. So what's so cool about this? Well, the idea is you can just use salvage screens that are made out of cypress or aluminum screens and put them up and make a whole second floor on your growing area. And it doesn't interfere much really with your lower growing area. So you can still have some peppers and some char, which we need to, we're getting ready to put our winter, yes for us, it's gonna be our winter garden in. Now I can wrap this if I need to that way with plastic and keep the heat in here and put a heater in here later. And I can do a number of other things. Keep my weeds alive too. As you can see, I got a lot of weeds. I was just clearing those out as a matter of fact. And so this is just an idea, folks. I wanted to see now up on top. You can see there's a walkway. And so we'll be able to walk up here and collect some of that if we want to later. And if you see in the sky, there's clouds and we're actually supposed to get some rain Sunday and Monday. So now the rest of the stuff. The world is getting real crazy, guys. If you haven't been paying attention, uh, there's a chance we see some nuclear tactical weapons go off, but there's also a chance we see a big war. And it's not because I want to as an American. I don't. I don't think you want to as an American. I don't think most people that are going to get into this war want to do it because the leaders are taking them there. So I wanted to go ahead and stand out and keep standing up for peace and solutions that we can make possible if we communicate. Communication around the world is essential, the truth. Not some bullshit, not some lies, not some propaganda that our own country is allowed to put out against us, or I should say, to convince us that they're right. If they're not right, they're not right. Prove it with the facts. But quit sending money over there. We just sent another 700 million this week. I just heard 700 million dollars more. We need that in our country now. We need to solve our problems now. We need to prepare, teach people how to grow food in their backyards. This right here could fit in a backyard and feed a whole family if you learn how to do it right. I don't know how to do it right, I'm just learning. But I do know it's possible. By terracing this, by using the post for vines and having plants hanging on them, by being able to heat it, cool it, and water it, we could actually produce, as they did in Europe and all over the world, victory gardens. Um, they basically mean we will be victorious because we will grow the food and we will learn how to survive on our own. This is absolutely super critical, people. Please. I want you to go ahead and learn how to do this because you'd be amazed how far you can get in a short amount of time using scrap pieces like this. This is just, again, old screens with a framework. You don't have to make it straight. You don't have to make it necessarily pretty all the way. And if I got her, she's gonna show me anything. There's a little baby. She's got eight little chicks hidden underneath her someplace. And she's not exposing them, but they're all underneath her. So what we're trying to do here is to show you, as you're doing things like this, this is kind of an octagarden. So you just put the posts up, put some braces between them. This has got some protection on this side so the goat or the animals don't run in there. And that's actually the top for a, a greenhouse. If you want to do the greenhouse with an acrylic, acrylate, anyway. Um, I have some of those panels. I haven't used them yet. The screens for the moment. But if it gets cold, I can put some of those up and then lock this all in and turn it into a greenhouse. And then over here, we're going to make another whole garden area where the chickens and the rabbits and stuff can run around because rabbits help fertilize everything. Rabbit fertilizer is really good. And so, in places like this where I got some rabbits and I got a lot of rabbit fertilizer, I can take that and put that out there to make a garden. And the goal being, by using all the older parts, you save, you don't have to cut a tree down. Never, never, never is there a tree cut down to make all this possible. So, um, we'll go back there, we're gonna have more things we're gonna do, but the idea is this is all salvaged wood, salvaged lumber. So, I'm gonna get back out of here again and go back to work, but I wanted to give you an idea of what's possible just using a bunch of parts and pieces. All salvaged wood. All of it old. This will last forever. 
old battens like this. These are already 150 years old. And it's just what goes over the screens to hold them in place. To be taken off and done later. And doors and stuff like that. All this stuff is old stuff to be saved and used again. Please. Let's think about this. Let's build some villages and some communities out of salvage. American stuff. Stuff our ancestors made for us. Um, and use it for things like this. Because I can go up another layer, add more screen, and create a second floor. Where the grasshoppers, which got pretty bad for a while, and other things can't get to it as easily. It's not that they can't get to it. They're pretty clever. But you can limit it without using poison. Just using old screen windows that you're going to find if you go and take houses down that are just out there waiting to be torn down. A lot of them have still good screens on and good windows. So you could do a greenhouse with windows that you could lift up and close and get the windows not for free, but for the labor of taking them down, if people would think about this more. Okay, again, parts and pieces everywhere, all salvaged to build all this, okay? No, it's not built perfect. It's not intended to be built perfect. In fact, quite the opposite. It's meant to show that anybody can do this and we're going after function. Now this became a, a chicken coop because they liked it so much. And now these panes of glass, which I've pulled from the back, I've had in stock for a while, they actually form the walls to keep the chicks from getting away. Because she's got like eight babies in there. And I want to stay on those other eggs for as long as possible. Yes, it's okay. I'm not bothering you. Yeah, you're right. And so I've got this all set up to protect her and also to protect them from anybody else getting them. This is so much fun. This is so much fun. I never got to do this as a kid. So I'm putting this over here and now full protection and the only she can get in and out if she wants to, but she doesn't want to. She wants to stay in there with the chicks. Got water in there, got food in there, and they're safe. Now, you all be safe too. Have a good day. Oh, Joey's having a fit over there. I gave him some fresh grass. That's our little goat. Y'all have a good one. Love ya.